بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم یور ٹیچر ڈاکٹر خرم شہزاد آئی ایم فرام نیشنل یونیورسٹی آف ماڈرن لینگویجز اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ انادر کانسیپٹ ان پریگمیٹکس دیٹ از پری سپوزیشن ریمبر وین وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ پریگمیٹکس وی ہیو سیٹ دیٹ ان پریگمیٹکس وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دی کمیونیکیٹو میننگ we are looking at the contextual meaning and i have already made a video on context or the role of context in pragmatics so our next concept that is presupposition we will have to understand that again the concept of context will play a very important role because we will have to see who is speaking to whom the person is speaking how he or she is speaking what is the relationship between the speaker and the listener and what kind of communication is going on so speakers assume certain information which is already known by the listeners this is part of what is communicated but not said because when i am interacting and my listener i know that who my listener is what he believes in what he or she likes what he or she does not like so of course i have got background knowledge about them so when i know my listeners and my listeners they know me so communication is going on between the speaker and the listener so there are certain expectations there are certain presuppositions that we make so usually in presupposition it is said that there are certain things which are not said but they are communicated so presuppositions and entailments these are the two aspects of what is communicated but not said presupposition is the information that a speaker assumes to be already known implicit meanings conveyed by the speaker through the use of particular words for example the cold war has ended presupposes that the existence of the entities it refers to such as cold war in this case is being talked about speakers not sentences have presuppositions remember and i have said that there are certain triggers there are certain uh, semantic aspects and there are certain pragmatic aspects they work together to give us the meaning of presupposition a presupposition is a condition which must be fulfilled in order for an expression to make sense a presupposition is introduced by a lexical element or construction called the presupposition trigger so it means that presupposition can be semantic as well as pragmatic for example the author of doing pragmatics shares an example and i can change a little bit this example according to the context of pakistan let's say one person speaker a is saying to speaker b that i am going to the office and speaker b says i hope you will be coming on time speaker a says i don't know you don't know what is the traffic situation in rawalpindi so here you don't know is saying that you don't know of course in dictionary you don't know means that the person does not know but here you don't know does not mean that the person does not know it means that the person knows you don't know what the traffic is in rawalpindi it means that the person who is speaking knows the situation and it means that the person who is listening that is speaker b also knows the situation that in rawalpindi it is lot of traffic so it means that the person may not be able to come back home on time so a presupposition is a background belief mutually assumed by the speaker and the addressee for the utterance to be considered appropriate in context it survives when the utterance is negated questioned or embedded in an attitude context yes i want to do it again 
I want to do it again. It means that the person has already done it. I don't want to do it again. Again, it means that the person has already done it. So the negation, it is not going to have any effect on presupposition. Again, I share the example with you. I want to do it again. I do not want to do it again. So presupposition is same. I want to do it again means the person has already done it. I don't want to do it again means the person has already done it. So presupposition has no effect when you are making a negative statement or you are asking a question or you are embedding something into the sentence. It is triggered by a lexical item or a grammatical construction in the utterance. So type of presupposition. Presuppositions are associated with the use of a large number of words, phrases and structures. These linguistic forms are considered as indicators of potential presupposition, which can only become actual presupposition in context with speakers. For example, I have talked about that there is semantic presupposition as well as there is pragmatic presupposition. So you don't know what is the traffic situation in Rawalpindi. This is semantic presupposition and here it means that the person knows and the speaker knows. Now we have already talked about in pragmatics that relevance is very important. Appropriacy is very important. The role of the speaker and the listener is very important. So one of my colleagues, he says and, and, and invites me, would you like to go out with me and have some tea? I reply, I have got a class. Now, I have got a class. It seems to us that it has no relevance with speaker A's proposition or sentence. Would you like to go out with me and have some tea? So I did not say no. If I had said no, he would have felt hurt. So I do not want to hurt his feelings. I did not say yes. If I had said yes, it would have been meant that I had to go with him. But I said, I have got a class. So indirectly, I have given him the answer that I cannot go with you. And he has also understood the meaning. And then he did not insist and did not ask me again to go with him outside. So here, this is pragmatic presupposition. So sometimes, you know, semantic words, lexical items, for example, what, for example, don't know, they tell us that there is certain presupposition and sometimes it is only pragmatic. There is no uh, lexical word involved, which is telling us that whatever the person has said, he means it. As I gave you the example, you don't know. Whereas it meant you know, you know, and I know. Same is the case when we are using first con uh, third conditional or second conditional sentence. If I were you, I would go there. If I were rich, I would buy this Ferrari. If I were rich, I would buy this Ferrari. But fact of the matter is that I am not you. So presupposition is that when we are interacting with our colleagues, with our friends, okay, so we are making use of the language, we know his or her background knowledge, we know his or her belief system, we know his or her likes and dislikes, and accordingly we are speaking the language. And in this way we are making use of language. I have already talked about that along with presupposition, we have got the concept of entailment. Remember, in presupposition, we are accommodating our listeners. We are accommodating our interactants. Okay, and they are also accommodating the kind of language that we are using and the kind of meaning that we are performing or the kind of meaning that we are conveying with the kind of form that we are using. So there are two 
kinds of presupposition semantic and pragmatic semantic view accounts for the difference between entailment and presupposition in a truth conditional way if proposition is false my wife went to karachi presupposes that i have a wife this is the entailment my wife did not go to karachi still presupposes that i have a wife i saw arif this morning it means i saw someone this morning i did not see arif this morning again it means that i saw someone this morning under the semantic view we would have to say that presuppositions failure results in falsity of a sentence the king of france is bored presupposes that there is one and only one king of france fact there is no king of france therefore sentence is false in the end i would like to summarize we have talked about the concept of presupposition so presupposition is something that we presuppose when we are interacting with our interactants we know his or her background knowledge we knew know that from where he or she is from what is his or her belief system and what he or she likes or dislikes and what is the phenomena what is the event in which we are interacting so of course we have got certain preconceived knowledge about that person and then accordingly we make use of the language and sometimes we convey so much than what we have just said thank you very much